all, so today we are talking about the Eufy S1 Pro specifically that comes with the case, and there's also the S1, but this one is the model with the heating element to it, and we're talking about the assembly. So a lot of moms have been complaining specifically about the assembly of this pump or disassembling the motor from it to either pour their milk or you know, just get things cleaned and put away. I do have a trick for that. It's kind of like how we did things for the Medela cups when they made that revision. So let's dive into taking it apart so I can show you putting it together. When you're looking at the motor here, it's got this little lip here. I think we discussed it in the unboxing, but I can't quite remember that video. If you need the unboxing video, I will link it down in the description for you. If you just wanted to see like me opening everything up, but today we're focusing on assembly and taking off the motor. So it's got this little lip here and then you've got little grip pads on either side on the motor. When you go to just try and push it in and pull it up, it's not going to move. Like you're not getting anywhere with that. So one of the tricks is if you can use a hand to just kind of pull that off, then it, it can be a two-hand process and done really quickly. By just pulling this back a little bit, it'll pop right off. If you need to do it just with one hand, then grab it here and push away. So, push, and then it'll come right off. So it's more about pushing the flange away from the motor as you're doing the lifting it's a little bit tricky if you have small hands like me because as you can tell like my hand is the size of this pump if you have a little bit larger hands it'll be much easier but if this is not sustainable for you then doing two hands where you just grab it and pop it right off makes it super easy the great thing about their pump is they did make the bottom so it actually sits flush. So if you take both out, you can set one down on the counter to do two hands to take it off if you needed to. If you're driving or something like that, then mastering the one hand is going to be key. Just starting with the bowl here, it's got the little duck bill. You can tell on the duck bill that there is a lip in here. Like many other models, you just have to line it up all the way and pop that bad boy in there. There's a little cockeyed or something, you can always straighten it out afterwards. For the backflow protector that they have, it's got this little, it's got this little notch in here. That is what needs to be put facing the duckbill. So another way you can look at it is it's got this little curve up here. That curve is designed to perfectly fit over this. So. You just line that up with the smooth side to the back. Now for the flange. Because this has the heating element, we've got these little pads here that go up against the pump. That's how the heating element works. And then you've got the notch cut out here. One of the easier things to do is to line it up here where the flange typically connects. But then before you start pushing in, come over here and line this up. It's got little grooves to pop it through all the way. And then you can confirm by checking these seams. So you just wanna push that all the way in. So it's firmly through, this is firmly closed. And now you can go around and do the remainder of your flange. If the flange is not fully clipped on, then it's technically an air seal and that can cause a loss of suction when trying to use this pump. So. Now you can go all the way around. You can see that there's no ripples or anything. It's all smoothly set up against everything. The pads are clearly through their little area and this is lined up. <laughs> Lastly, you would just take the motor, align it typically with the diaphragm. So clicking it into place like this is the easiest way to make sure it's completely on and properly done. So if this is not fully sealed, again, you'll have a loss of suction. Now, if you heard it, it does clip as you get past this little protection zone. Once that is clipped in and you see that there is no gaps here, you're able to know that the pump was set up correctly for you and then you can get going. 
Don't forget to make sure to size yourself so you would add your flange insert there and then align it, place it in your bra and pump and go. I hope this was helpful. If you're going to pour the milk, I do recommend popping the motor off. That way you can fully pour without the motor getting wet, especially since we have these touch pads here for the heating element. But other than that, happy pumping.